Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and this is what I say about food. In fact, this is what I say about Epicurial. Pure bourbon vanilla extract and it has vanilla bean seeds in it. Very cool. Look at it. That's what it looks like. And I'm excited about this stuff because I know vanilla is just, it's awesome anyway. But this is so fragrant and so aromatic. Um, I've actually used this for a couple baking things. What did we bake, mommy, that we used this for? <clears throat> I made French toast with this. I made pancakes with this. Mm -hmm. And I put this in muffins. It's delicious. It, uh, it's really kicked up a notch, and it actually has a great big vanilla bean in it. it you can't really see it, but it's this tall, like the whole way. You can see it in there. There you go. Now, what I kind of think is um, charming about this vanilla, I don't know if, what I would say about it, but... It's a little bit cloudy, which makes me feel like it's more like thicker, thicker or um, less processed and refined. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not, it's a little more rustic-ish, but it's gourmet all at the same time. It warms my heart. Anyway, it smells awesome. I love it. And I would try it. This is good bang for your buck. Now, please, please, I beg of you, use real vanilla extract, okay? Please don't use the fake stuff, the artificial stuff, because I'm going to have a special guest on who's coming to walk over here and tell you exactly what artificial vanilla is and what it's made of. And she's an expert at it because she actually used to work at a place that used this or had it yes. as a dry product. Yes. Um, it's actually uh, made from uh, vanillin, which is a byproduct of uh, paper uh, Making processing. paper out of paper mills. It's a chemical. It's a chemical, and I'm not so sure that it's healthy to eat. Um, it smells like vanilla, it looks like vanilla, it tastes like vanilla, but it ain't vanilla. That's right. And um, I'm not sure exactly what the chemicals are that go into the process of preparing wood fiber into paper, making it happen. Just think but about it. But nonetheless, vanillin is a byproduct of that process. and. I don't feel it. It's fit to eat. So, guys, don't use artificial vanilla. Actually, get the real stuff because you need less of it, and it's much tastier. It is. And, it's and healthier, healthier for you. Put the extra dollar or two out and buy it. That's right, because you don't use very much at one time. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like that piece de resistance that mm -hmm. just kicks up your sweet desserts and baked goods and makes it perfect and delicious and lovely. I feel great. I'm taller than you. For <laughs> She's sitting, sitting down, okay. I'm standing. This is my mom, Ingrid Turner. Make sure you check out her website. It's ingridturnertoday.com. You can check her out on Facebook as well. She's awesome. She's the most precious thing on the planet. Go check her out. Anyway, that's what we, we say about Epicurial's Pure Bourbon Vanilla Extract with vanilla bean seeds. Up. Go grab that stuff. I got it at Qual First Foods online at qualfirst.com. Um, Did not have this at my grocery. They have extracts and stuff at the grocery, but not mm -hmm. this kind. Okay. So go on, try this stuff. And that's it. That's all. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Bye bye. Bye, mommy. Make sure you like the fan page. It's facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on youtube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And the site is Cooking with Kimberly.com. I hope you come out, interact with me, and make sure that you let me know what's going on and eat deliciously. Be a champion in your kitchen. Bye.